I was in disbelief. I was shocked. My family was shocked. And in a way, I kind of thought something was wrong. I just didn't think it was cancer. The process included going a weekend, staying for a week, getting chemo, and being home for three weeks. Let my body recuperate, and then I'd go back in for another week, and I did five rounds of that. It's kind of hard to explain how it is to get chemo. You know it's this poison going in your body, but it's also, you know, knowing that it's going to help you. All my levels, my blood levels, my hemoglobin, red blood cells, white blood cells, they all went down. So it was like instant tiredness and fatigue. I would get weekly transfusions. I would see the doctor a couple times a week, get my labs checked, and if my hemoglobin was really low, it required a blood transfusion. And I would get them weekly for months. If you take the average football stadium, roughly around 80,000 people, and you have the people remain standing that have the O negative blood type, there'd be around 6,000 people. And then if you would ask people to remain standing have that have the VAL negative antigen, there probably would only be myself standing and maybe one other person. It was a shock in itself finding out that I had the VAL negative aspect of my blood and requiring all those blood transfusions. I, I didn't know what to expect during my journey through this cancer. After I received uh, the blood transfusion, I had, I would say, a little bit more pep in my step. You know, it gave me a boost of energy. It made me feel better. If I wasn't able to get transfusions after my bone marrow transplant, I would not be where I am today. Those transfusions helped me be back, you know, bring me back to life. I would recommend people get out there and donate as much as they can because there's people like me who have rare blood and, you know, have different aspects of their blood that makes it rare that we need blood from other people. So it's important to donate. I mean, it saved my life and I'm greatly appreciative.